What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today uh, because we, I guess spoilers already, but we have officially hit 6k. Okay, so as you guys, if you haven't seen my last few videos, um, we've been attempting to push to 6k trophies and, uh, and we've been having a little bit of bad luck. We got within one game twice in two different videos, so maybe now you don't have to watch those videos. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to not try and get three wins in a row on video because that's really, really tough anyway. Let me just try and push on my own and record it. And then if I make it to 6K, I can just talk about how I did it and what I did. And that's exactly what this video is. So uh, this is two games that it took to get over 6K. Still rocking this same deck, which I really, really like. <clears throat> Don't necessarily know if it's the uh, absolute best version. I love Thunderer, but I have been beat beaten a lot by the frost variation of this deck so maybe if you wanted to try out frost it would work pretty well that's probably what i'm going to be pushing with in the near future um but uh but it will be pretty cool and we did officially make it over 6k so this will be how we did it but if you guys are enjoying this video make sure that you guys are subscribed like the video we make daily videos we have uh we upload content on sneak peek footage and update stuff all that good stuff and also check out those memberships because we got a lot of cool perks that i know you guys will enjoy including badges emotes we've got your very own members only discord channel as well as you get to enter into the raffle giveaway to get your very own mallard mug which we'll be doing the uh, the giveaway very shortly in like a week or so so definitely get your name in there if you guys are interested in the mallard mug with the mallard mug luck implanted in there but let's jump into this game here. We're just about to go up against Warlock. Here we go. And uh, what do we got? 51. Not too shabby at all. You can see I've upgraded my Crystal Mancer. We actually insta-killed it with J, which is one of the J um, skills that it has. Or one of the you can insta-kill the first boss or like crit damage or something. But we upgraded our Bombardier as well as our crystal mancer right away purely so we could take out the boss and not get switched so i do that pretty often i don't usually upgrade bombardier first but with this deck i seem like that's usually the first thing i do i upgrade bombardier and then i'll upgrade either ivy or crystal mancer you don't really need to level up ivy early in the game because it's instant killing bosses pretty much anyway but after wave one, then you want to start doing it. But you can see we already got a couple of rank two hexes. We got a rank two hex on a rank two Thunderer, which is okay. And a rank two hex on a rank two Ivy, which is great. So we got our hex all the way up to three. We've got our Crystal Mancer to two. Bombardier still at two, obviously. And we just got our hex to four, our Ivy to three, Bombardier to three, Crystal Mancer to three. And we're kind of neglecting the Thunderer as we usually do because we're just interested in its chain so not necessarily its damage. Um, but man, guys, I wish Thunderer, I wish Thunderer was the key. I was talking to somebody the other day about this and uh, Thunderer is such a cool card. I don't know if anybody remembers or if you guys remember the Thunderer meta. Thunderer, I used to rock like Thunderer Alchemist. I don't even know if Hex was in the deck or not, but I absolutely loved that deck and it was so much fun to run. But Thunderer, it's so unique. So it's got a little bit of stun, slow action going on. It's got damage. It's got multiple damage. It's great for hexes. It's great with rhinestone. It, you know, it, it's got so many things that it's really, really good at. But its damage overall just seems to be a little bit underwhelming. And that's why you don't really see it in the meta. And that's why I think Frost is probably a better version than this. Because when it comes down to it, you're instant killing so much stuff. This deck, you're going to run into a variation of this deck all the time on the ladder. And when you do run up against a mirror matchup or something very similar, it's just going to come down to slow. It doesn't matter how much you're killing. You could instant kill three bosses in a row. But on that fourth or fifth boss, when you go up against a 17 million HP tribunal... You're never going to take it out. So then it just comes down to whoever has the most slow. So sometimes I try to combine out to get Thunderers. Sometimes I try to combine out to get Bombardiers. But if I'm running into that situation over and over and over again, Frost is probably going to be the way to go. But we got Bedlam in 45 seconds. This guy is running the uh, Inquis Stasis, which actually, well, he's got Bombardier as well as uh, Dryad in there, which is a little bit better. I would have 
been scared of this guy if he was running Demonologist, but he's not. He's running Dryad and Bombardier, so a little bit better there. But we have actually seen Inquisitor take a little bit of a back seat. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but Ivy Hex is running Rampid. Uh, Blade Dancer, I've seen a lot of. I've seen a lot of Boreas's. A little bit of Cultists. I mean, yeah, you still see... You I don't know. You don't see as many Inquisitors, and I absolutely love it. I love Inquis. It's super fun to run, but you've seen cult, you've seen uh, Inquis for so long everywhere that it's like it, it's happy when you have have a little break. So now we're going up against Bedlam. So if it does switch us, it's going to be really interesting. We only have three Crystal Mancers, and there we go. We got switched, but now we have five. The only thing is we don't have any hexes. So that's my only priority right now is to find some hexes. So you can see I combined out Crystal Mancers right away. I really aggressively combine out Crystal Mancers. I'm not really worried about them because during waves, they don't matter at all. Yes, I'd like to have a few of them when a boss comes, but right when the wave starts, I really just got to find hexes next to Ivies because that's how I'm going to survive. And in this deck, hexes next to Thunderers would be even better. So I even combined out two rank three Thunderers there Ended up getting a rank 4 Bombardier. Not really what I was fishing for, but it will do the trick. And we've got now a rank 2 Hex on two rank 3 Ivies and a rank 2 Ivy, which is pretty much, that's holding down the fort. That's everything. So we do have a rank 1 Hex on a rank 3 Thunderer, which honestly isn't that bad. Like, yeah, I'd rather that Hex was a little bit higher, but a rank 1, at least it has a chance at getting instant kills with the Thunderer. So now my Thunder is not useless. And if you hadn't noticed yet, all our cards are max now. We did max out our Thunderer because we did have a bunch of Thunderers after Bedlam. So you kind of have to. But now we got Tamer. Tamer is going to be a little bit tough for our mans over here. He's got a lot of copies, which, as you know, that's reduced damage. So we just took ours out. He's got 4.2 to go through. And I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. But this is going to be a nice long wait for us we're gonna hang out and do nothing let's see he's got 3.4 i played these games yesterday so i don't even i i know i win you know spoilers but i don't even remember exactly how it went so it'll be like a little surprise we're watching it together guys a little family movie night we're just hanging out you know what's better than a movie night on the beach or by the beach movie night by the beach starting a new channel But he's got it down to 1.7. How many? He does have a lot of stasises, so uh, that's one thing that's definitely keeping him alive because his damage isn't going to do it. But his stasises could keep him alive. 800 to go through. 700. Can he get there? Even if he just takes one hit, I'd be happy. But 400, it looks like he's going to be able to take it out. Oh. Oh, he did take a hit, but he didn't lose. So he's hitting me. I love that emoji. That's one of my favorite emojis. Just, all right, let's all just take a chill pill. Let's relax. But he did take a hit. And with Tamer, if you take a hit and you don't lose, it's still pretty good luck, right? I mean, that's definitely not the end of the world. But right here, you can already see we're pretty much just instant killing everything with our hexes. We've got, what do we got? Two rank four, uh, two rank four IVs. We've got two rank three Ivies, two rank three Crystal Mancers, two rank two Crystal Mancers, a rank three Thunderer. Our board looks really, really good. The only thing that would make it better is if we had a couple of rank three Hexes sprinkled in there. But that was it. Like, rank three and rank four Ivies and Hexes and, and Thunderers, oh my, is what's going to make you win, win games. That's pretty much all it takes. But 26 seconds, it's very, very difficult for us to lose during the wave. Man, and I love running this deck with no slow. It's like, I know the Frost, like I've said, the Frost version I think is better. But no slow with just Bombardier, it makes me feel better inside. Because I'm not running a slow deck. I'm running a Hex damage deck with just Bombardier, which I think is really cool. And my Bombardier's, my Bombardier's maxed. You don't want to, you know, but whatever. So here we go, Warlock. So right here, 6 million versus his 16 million. Him running in quiz, it is impossible. He hit me with a good game. I'll hit him, him with a good game. It's impossible that he's going to take this out. And I was kind of torn. It didn't really matter, but I was torn because we had six mil. And I was like, man, we, we have a shot at taking this out. Not that it matters at all. But should I spam 
If I tried to combine out there, it lagged and didn't, didn't get it. Should I like try and take it out and spam J's and slow it and do all that? Doesn't matter. He made the decision for me. He ended up uh, instant quitting. I hit him with a good game. I mean, honestly, at this point, I don't think that's like him being salty or anything. I think that's like factually, he's not going to win that game. Like there's no chance he's going to win that game. So let's just save both of, e both of us five minutes of our day to go have another coffee or something and uh and not waste just sitting there and doing nothing but now we're going up against the guy 1660 crit uh and he's running the boreas hex iv combo with frost no bombardier and uh what is it dryad in there <clears throat> so a little bit interesting you can see on his board he's actually got two damage squares and two attack speed squares so his j i didn't see what his j level was but his J must be pretty good. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, ah, this is a tough game. But remember, we're only one win, one win away from uh, getting to 6K trophies. So I think we were like 10 or 15 or whatever. But typically we were like 20 away for it to be one win, which you need to beat somebody who has higher trophies than you to get anything over like 23 trophies. But make sure if you guys want to catch me live when I'm actually playing, check out my live streams. I do it every Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube to make it super simple for you guys. We always have a lot of fun just hanging out, chatting, talking about the update, talking about decks and pushing and whatever else you want to talk about. Uh, and we'd, we'd absolutely love to have you there. But we got Bedlam in 50 seconds. So notice what I upgraded first. It was my Bombardier because I really want my Bombardier to trigger so that I can pause Bedlam and take it out. Does it really matter? Bedlam on the first boss, I'm not too worried about. There's always that chance that Bedlam will switch you and get you in a better spot than you are right now, but why take that chance, right? If you're gonna try and set up your board a little bit, might as well just let Bed like try and take Bedlam out first, and then you kind of go on from there. So we're just combining out rank ones. We're combining out thunderers. You know, we're trying to find a couple more crystal mancers right now because we only have one crystal mancer. But we're also trying to fill our board. That's those are the that's the recipe for taking out bosses. Okay, full board, couple of crystal mancers, leveled up bombardier, and you should be all good. We're gonna try and hit our J to instant kill it, but it, I don't even know. It it might work like twenty percent of the time. 40% of the time. I feel like it is pretty often. Look at that. Another instant kill. Just like that. Boom. 49k. Boom. My J is probably leading the damage right now for all my monsters. But now we got another Bedlam. Uh, it's a little bit unrealistic for us to take out Wave 2 Bedlam. Possible, but improbable, I'd say. Uh-oh. Waiting for a second player. Now he's back. But a little bit interesting. This guy's deck is definitely interesting. He's way more focused right now on Boreas's. Again, I say that even though it's RNG, so maybe he's just tapping the button and getting a bunch of Boreas's and he wants his board to look different. But he does have a rank 4 Ivy. And he does have that uh, Dryad in there, which the deck I'm running, I feel like having Dryad in here would be really, really good. But I don't know what I would switch it in for. I mean, I could probably switch it in for Hex. Not Hex not hex thunderer right i could probably th switch it in for thunderer the only thing is dryad's great for the sh like early game late game i don't think it's really going to do all that much by the time we're a late game we're going to have a rank two hex and a rank three ivy it's going to happen right now we have a rank three hex and a rank two ivy it's the same thing um you don't really need dryad and the thing with this deck is if you're playing against the same deck you're never going to beat them in wave two, wave three, even maybe wave three. If they're playing it at all intelligently with decent RNG, right? Because there is definitely some luck involved. You shouldn't lose on the first, second, third wave. It's gonna go, maybe not, maybe I shouldn't say three. You're not gonna lose on the first two waves, right? Third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave, sure. That's when it, that's when you end up losing. So those waves that you're playing for, I don't think Ivy, sorry, I don't think Dryad is going to make the difference. But we're trying to take this guy out. Ooh, we did take Bedlam out before it switched us. Uh, he definitely got switched, but he got a couple of rank three hexes over there. Another hex. Oh, oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. He has a nice high rank in hex. But you know what? When I'm, I'm actually remembering this game now. When I was playing, 
I don't think I realized he got switched, A. And B, I looked at his board one at one point and was like, dude, he's got four units on his board. Look at this. I didn't realize what happened. He had a million dryads and then combined out all his hexes. I'll tell you right now, patience is king because he had a rank three hex on a rank, I think it was a rank three or a rank four, sorry, a rank three ivy on a rank three or four hex and he combined it out. That, don't do that. Don't do that. He That could have just carried his whole wave, but he saw that they were the same unit, so he decided to combine them out, and that's the board that he ended up with. That's a mistake on his part. Yes, he had a bunch of dryads, but that would have that would at least held out. He ended up disconnecting. Level 13 J. Absolutely love to see that when I'm rocking a level 5. Let's see. His crit damage was what? 1,660. Level 9. Boreas, not too bad, but let's click through. Let's check out how many trophies we got. We got 21 trophies, so he was probably even lower than me, and we ended up 6,011 right there on the trophy count. Let's check it out. It's a beautiful thing. We finally made it to 6K. Whew. Let me know how you guys are doing on your trophy pushing. Where are you guys at? What deck are you using? But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys, and if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.